This is the Casio G-Shock GW1100 watch. It's a very nifty tool. It has a lot of functionality inside a very durable package. The first is that it has an integral compass. There's two independent sensors and when you activate the compass the seconds hand displays the reading from those sensors. You activate the compass by pressing the top right button. It's searching. It found the signal. We can rotate it and it will track the signal. After about 10 seconds it will stop functioning and need to be reset. stop functioning. You can reset it. And now it's functioning as a watch again. It has a sapphire crystal so the watch face is extremely hard to scratch. It also has a solar panel that uh, is the dial itself and the solar panel recharges the rechargeable battery. Other modes include the world time function, which is basically just a second time zone that you can set the watch to. You can see the lower center dial move to WT, which is world time. I have world time set right now to Tokyo and Seoul, so it's just past 7 a.m. in the morning there. You can see that the date advanced to the 11th of August because it's tomorrow morning on the 11th in Asia but it's still the 10th of August here in Texas today. The next mode is stopwatch. It's hard to reset that. The next mode is countdown timer. It's set to 10 minutes. It's counting down. The next mode is alarm. And the next mode is regular watch mode. This is a really nifty watch. I especially like the fact that the compass function appears to be pretty useful and fairly accurate within a couple of degrees. It also has the ability to set itself every night uh, according to the atomic clock's radio signal which they have atomic clock radio uh, broadcasts in the United States, Europe, Japan, and China. It also has the ability to set the time zone, so it will automatically adjust the time to the current time in the time zone that you set based on the reference point from the atomic clock signal. Let's do the compass again. Searching, found it. Rotating it, it reorients, it reorients itself. Now it needs to be reset. And it's functioning as a watch again. Very nifty.